Imperfection is beauty, madness is genius and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. I'm selfish, impatient and a little insecure. I make mistakes, I am out of control and at times hard to handle. But if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. I am good, but not an angel. I do sin, but I am not the devil. I am just a small girl in a big world trying to find someone to love. I've never fooled anyone. I've let people fool themselves. They didn't bother to find out who and what I was. Instead they would invent a character for me. I wouldn't argue with them. They were obviously loving somebody I wasn't. It's often just enough to be with someone. I don't need to touch them. Not even talk. A feeling passes between you both. You're not alone. Success makes so many people hate you. I wish it wasn't that way. It would be wonderful to enjoy success without seeing envy in the eyes of those around you. We are all born sexual creatures, thank God, but it's a pity so many people despise and crush this natural gift. Boys think girls are like books, if the cover doesn't catch their eye they won't bother to read what's inside. I don't mind being burdened with being glamorous and sexual. Beauty and femininity are ageless and can't be contrived, and glamour, although the manufacturers won't like this, cannot be manufactured. Not real glamour, it's based on femininity. Before marriage, a girl has to make love to a man to hold him. After marriage, she has to hold him to make love to him. Too often they don't realize what they have until it's gone. They're too stubborn to say, sorry, I was wrong. They hurt the ones closest to their hearts. And we let the most foolish things tear us apart. How wrong it is for a woman to expect the man to build the world she wants, rather than to create it herself. Just because you fall once, doesn't mean you're fall at everything. Keep trying, hold on, and always trust yourself, because if you don't then who will? I knew I belonged to the public and to the world, not because I was talented or even beautiful, but because I had never belonged to anything or anyone else. Looking back, I guess I used to play act all the time. For one thing, it meant I could live in a more interesting world than the one around me. Some people have been unkind. If I say I want to grow as an actress, they look at my figure. If I say I want to develop, to learn my craft, they laugh. Somehow they don't expect me to be serious about my work. Love and work are the only two real things in our lives. They belong together, otherwise it is off. Work is in itself a form of love.
I could never pretend something I didn't feel. I could never make love if I didn't love, and if I loved I could no more hide the fact than change the color of my eyes.